It's common knowledge that mowing is a good way to control the pasture weed Californian thistle. Anecdotal evidence has suggested it's even more effective when mowing takes place in the rain. But there's been no explanation for this until now. A joint research project between AgriSearch at Lincoln and AgriFood in Canada is underway to find out the hows and whys of better weed control. Cutting Californian thistle in the rain improves the control of the thistle on average by about 30%. In a series of trials that we conducted, uh, funded by Meat and Wool New Zealand in 2008 and 2009, we had farmers mow their thistle in the rain and mow in the dry, and the technicians went back and uh, assessed the results the year later. What we found was that mowing in the rain reduced the thistle population by around about 50%, and that was a 30% improvement over mowing the thistle under dry conditions in those experiments. What we think is happening here, and to date we don't have any direct proof, but um, we've discovered a fungus called Verticillium dalii, which causes a vascular wilt disease in Californian thistle. Hitherto never found on Californian thistle anywhere in the world. This fungus is widespread in New Zealand from surveys that, again, Meat and Wool funded us to do. And it's got a particular sort of biology where the spores are produced inside the thistle stem. And when you cut the thistle stem, these spores sort of bubble out with the juices. And the wet mower blade can transfer those spores from the infected plant or the infected shoot to a non-infected shoot. And that non-infected shoot will become infected by those spores and suffer the disease in the subsequent season. Today's conditions are absolutely perfect. Light rain, light drizzle, the thistles are wet, the mower blades are wet. Couldn't get better conditions for mowing in the rain. Over 90% of pastoral farms in New Zealand have Californian thistle. On average across the different sectors, sheep, beef, dairy, etc., at the peak time of cover, we have Californian thistle excluding 6% of our grazing land. Sheep pastures have it worse. At the peak cover, we've got 12% of our pasture land on sheep farms out of production from California thistle. California thistle in an established pasture propagates from year to year uh, solely by from buds on a creeping root system. Those roots can actually run up to two metres in a year, depending on how friable the soil is. The farmer's going to do one mowing a year, better to leave it till late in the season, February, March. That is the time of the year when most of the foliage is there and that's when most of the roots are being produced. So if he cuts the foliage off then, he's going to have the maximum effect uh, in terms of reducing root production and therefore that overwintered root mass which causes the, the next uh, generation of shoots. The other, the other factor is that at this time of the year, late in the growing season, the fungi that we believe are responsible for the mowing and the rain effect will be sporulating. So there, that's another reason, if you're going to mow in the rain, better to do it later, in the autumn, rather than in the spring. We've got two common pathogens of California thistle here. This one here is California thistle rust. We call it Puccinia punctiformis. It's been on California thistle ever since California thistle has been in the country. There's another fungus, um, the Verticillium dalii fungus, and it too could be involved in this mowing and the rain effect. Quite different, it's sort of just yellowing and general demise. So the key thing for the farmer is that if he's got disease symptoms, either of these two or others uh, in his thistle, uh, they are the ones he should be mowing, rather than healthy, healthy California thistle. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.